Hi everyone, it's Nixie. Welcome back to challenge three of Next Top Nail Artist season six. This week's challenge is sponsored by Lachette and is entitled Perception versus Reality. So this week's challenge is inspired by Lachette's new Perception gel polish range. So these are translucent gel polishes that are sometimes also referred to as jelly nails or glass nails and they do like a really cool sort of stained glass effect. So the theme perception versus reality, I took to mean something that on closer inspection isn't quite as it seems or there's something sort of concealed there. So this was quite a tricky brief to know where to start really, but there was one image that I saw on Facebook a fair few weeks ago and it's been playing on my mind ever since. It's basically two jars, one with, well both filled with water, one of them's got a plastic bag, one's got a jellyfish. And the tagline is, now imagine you're a hungry sea turtle. So I wanted to delve a bit more into the effects of plastic in the ocean. And there is far too much information for a five minute video. Um, but the main culprits seem to be one use disposable plastic, such as Q-tips, plastic bottles and drinking straws. So to represent this in my nail design, I started by building up my nail beds with acrylic to represent the ripples in the sand and then I mix glass gel with builder gel to create my seawater. Because the glass gels are so clear, they are perfect for creating a deep blue ocean effect. And then just as an experiment, I decided to try injecting bubbles into the uncured gel using a hypodermic needle. And I'm pleased to say that it worked. Another way plastic impacts the underwater environment is by accelerating global warming through its production process. Rising sea temperatures are detrimental to the delicate underwater ecosystem and cause an effect known as coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is a process where coral can no longer photosynthesise and will eventually turn white and even die. I really wanted to represent this process in my design so after building corals out of lace paste and acrylic I coloured them using a combination of thermochromatic pigments and gel polishes so that when they're exposed to warm water they would lose their colour just like real coral. This meant that I had to create all my coral in white and then just do a very, very thin layer of pigment just on the surface so that when it disappeared, the white would shine through. Here are some examples of real coral bleaching. Once I had made my coral pieces, it was time to attach them to the base. Working all in one colour felt a bit strange, but I liked how ghostly and poignant it looked in contrast to the bright corals. If there were no coral reefs, then masses of other sea creatures would also begin to die. Because of this, I painted my turtles in thermopigment so that they too would disappear. While the top of my design represents the perception of a beautiful ocean, the underside represents the harsh reality. I painted silhouettes of plastic bags, drinking straws and bottles in white so that when viewed from above through the glass gel should just look like bubbles, ripples in the water and jellyfish. I matched my 3D coral reef with 3D litter carelessly discarded on the ocean floor. The good news is that the topic of ocean plastic is becoming more and more popular and by reducing our plastic consumption and being more responsible with how we dispose of our waste, we can start putting the life and colour back into our oceans. Thanks for watching.